In this video, we're gonna talk all about templates with Elementor and how you can use them to speed up your work. When you need to create a lot of different pages on your site, oftentimes you want to retain a common design and having templates allows you to do that rather than having to create everything from scratch. They're also useful to provide to people for bonuses and other things as well, which we'll talk about later. So to demonstrate this, this is a page that I have created on one of my websites. And this is a JV page for a product launch that I had a little while ago. Now I release a series of beginner trainings. This is volume three. So each time I release a new volume, rather than having to create a page from scratch, I can create a template and then I can use that template so I can keep the same look and feel. So the first thing that you'll want to do is to create your page. So here we've got a page that I have already created. And then once this has been created, you'll want to click on this little drop down here and click on save as template. From here, you will need to give your template a name and it can be absolutely anything that you want so long as it makes sense to you. So I'm just gonna call this YouTube Demo TP for template. And then we're gonna hit save. So now this template has been saved and you can see I've got tons of different templates saved in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my dashboard and I'm going to create a new page and I'm just going to call this uh, demo YT for YouTube. We'll save as a draft and then we'll click on edit with Elementor and then we're going to use that template. So the first thing we'll see is it brings in all this ugly stuff. So we're gonna click on this cog down here and for page layout, we're gonna choose Elementor Canvas. That's gonna refresh and give us a nice clean page. From here, we're gonna click this template icon and we're gonna to go to my templates. And if it says this, don't worry. What we'll do is we'll just click on pages and my templates again and it'll bring it back. We'll click on creation date. And this is the one here, YouTube demo template. Now we can preview this or we could insert it. So let's go ahead and insert this and apply. And that is going to bring in that particular page. So we can see now that it's brought in that page. Let's let it refresh. So now we have a new page. We don't need to create anything from scratch. We just need to switch certain things out. So for example, the graphic, I wanna switch out to volume four. So I'm gonna click on this and then click on the image here. Just do a search for the graphic. It's this one and we'll plonk that in there. So now we have volume four. I'm gonna click on the title and I will call this volume four. And volume four was all about affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing. And then I'll come up here and do the same thing. Click, click, uh, it was a uh, volume four. So we'll just do a search. It was. That one again, we'll click on that. And you can see it just starts to fill things in. And rather than having to do all this from scratch, it's gonna save time. So I just go down here and switch out the things and the wordings that would be necessary. And then I can publish and I'll have a new page, which is a JV page for volume four. So that is super, super simple. So that's one thing that you can do. Now let's go back over here to this page and we're gonna click on this again and we'll go to save as template and I'll just call this demo two, for example, and we'll hit save. And that's gonna show here. So these are all of the templates that I've created. I've created sales page templates, opt-in page templates, bridge page templates. Now what we can do if we have templates is we can actually download them and provide them to other people. So for example, we can provide a template that is based on a certain theme and give it to somebody either as a free gift or as a bonus if they bought something through our affiliate link. So this clean opt-in page, for example, I can click on these three dots and I can click on export and that is going to export what's called a JSON file. So I'm just gonna bring that off screen to my desktop. Now what you can do here is you can provide that to somebody as a template that they can use and then that person now has a template that they can edit and they can add their own images and wordings to without having to do stuff from scratch. It helps somebody else, but it's also a great, as I mentioned, as an affiliate bonus. So that's something that you can do with templates as well. You can also import templates from here. So if you buy templates or get templates from another person, then you can um, upload them here. So you can click on this little import template section and then you can drag and drop your JSON file or your zip file template here and then it will be inside of your site. So that's one extra thing that you can do.
Now, another way that you can manage your templates is from your WordPress dashboard. So if you go to your WordPress dashboard and on the left-hand side, just below Elementor, you will see templates and you will see all of the different things available to you. So we can click on save templates here and you can see all of the templates that you've created. You can see these are the two that I've created in this particular video. You can also create pop-ups as well. So you can create pop-ups and use them on your site. So if somebody leaves your website, um, a little pop-up will appear and that's a great way for you to build your list. And you can also use these pop-ups to potentially make more affiliate sales. So this is a blog post that I have on a different website which talks all about shopping carts. Um, a lot of these things were also built with Elementor. This little table was as well. And if somebody goes to leave, then they get this pop-up appear. And if they want to click on this, it will take them to my recommended shopping cart through my affiliate link. So it's a great way to potentially get affiliate sales as well. And one of the other things that we'll focus on in this video as well is the kit library. So if you click on the kit library, it opens in a new tab here. You can see all of the templates that Elementor has provided that you can scroll through and use if you want. We've got different categories down here. If we open up the feature, we can see new ones, popular ones or trending ones. So if we click on popular, for example, these are popular templates and you might find something for your homepage. And if you want to do a search, you can search for certain things such as sales pages or blog pages or opt-in pages, and you might find something you like, or of course you can create them from scratch, or as I've shared, you can import them from somebody else that's really good at creating this kind of stuff, and then you can use their skill set on your pages. So really, really useful thing inside of Elementor. If you wanna check out Elementor, I'll leave a link in the description. Super, super cool tool. Other than that, thanks for watching. Any questions, leave them below. I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video and I'll see you soon. Take care.